never been here. Here, I forge the armor with this hammer. It will do the task. Excellent. It will make a marvelous weapon. With this, we can stop Versalak permanently. Not just stop him, beat him to a pulp. Good luck. Shore up defenses. We must protect this location. Get ready. around here are on edge. It's not a good sign. Versalak, are you ready to fight yet? A flimsy sprout like you will never defeat me. Even so, I'll teach you one final lesson in pain. Last time your enchanted armor made it a bit unfair. Face me honestly and we'll see who's flimsy. <laughs> Do you think I really need my magic armor to beat you? Yes. Truly dead. Victory! So the Nightmare Court can be beaten after all. Never give up, Ockham. Speaking of that, I fear the Nightmare Court may target you to make more armor. Would you like to come and live in the grove with me? You'd be safer there. Respectfully, I decline. Too much noise. You've shown me how to fight them. Now, I will. I think I may take you up on that offer. I still mourn the loss of my beloved, but I can't stay by his grave forever. Mourning alone only brings more sorrow. You would be welcome, and may stay as long as you like. You'll be safe there. Safe. The Grand Duchess will soon find another way to draw the dream into darkness, and then none of us will be safe. It is her way. It sounds like you have history with this Grand Duchess Fowlin. Did you know her well? Perhaps once. But I don't know her anymore. Never mind. You've done well, Valiant. Enjoy this moment. Like all victories, it will fade. Come. Like Gerwin, we should not dwell on sorrows. One image in your dream has been resolved. But the other, the dragon, remains. It is time to speak with the Pale Tree.
like to talk to you. Greetings, my valorous child. Kaith has told me of your deeds. I'm so proud of you. I'm honored to meet you, Mother Tree. I dreamt of a green knight, and when I met Bersalak, I knew I had to defeat him. Is that because of you? No, dear heart. I do not control the dream. I am simply its caretaker. If you will allow, Mother, we would place the helm of Bersalak within our garden. I hope it will warn others not to fall to pride and nightmare. An excellent suggestion. Let the lesson be that strength of heart shall always overcome strength at arms. If I may ask, Mother, in my dream, I also saw a fierce, horrible dragon. I've been told it is my wild hunt to face this monster. Is that true? I fear that it is. A wild hunt is a sacred thing, a burden placed by the dream upon the strongest and the bravest of my children. In your dream, you fought an elder dragon face to face. Only two of my children have had such a dream, you and Kaith. All Silvari fight the dragon's servants, the undead, but I believe you will face Zaitan itself. I also believe you will prevail. I understand, Mother. Thank you. Be proud of your victory this day, Valiant. But remember, peace is short-lived. You will be needed again, likely very soon. I wish for the Valiant to meet my eldest child. Traherne has returned from all? Mother, is that wise? Do not question the dream. We must all play our parts. Yes, Mother Tree. I see that it is done. I'm willing to go, just not during the day. The High Luke are most active then. We're strong in the dark, and you know it. We're both of the cycle of night. I know, but I'm afraid all will get to see us sleeping high. Protégé, Kate? I'm glad to see you putting trust in someone again. Don't stop. Greetings, Valiant. I want you to meet Trahan, another of the Silvari Firstborn. Only a few Firstborn are called to wild hunts. I have the calling, so does Trahan. I believe he carries the heaviest burden of us all. 
More difficult than fighting an elder dragon? Our task is tangible, if dangerous, young Valiant. His is ephemeral. There may be no solution. Kate speaks well of you, and she really speaks well of anyone. I need your help, Valiant. In my studies of ore, I've developed a salve that may help defend against dragon corruption. However, it requires a very rare ingredient. The Hylic harvests the sap of the rare Zalisco plant to use in their potions. Only the Hylic know how to grow the Zalisco, and they rarely trade the extract. The Hazupal tribe have agreed to give us a sample. Two Silvari, a pair of twins named Arlen and Pelham, were sent to retrieve it. Silvari born from the same pod are extremely rare, and Hylic consider twins to be sacred. The tribe agreed to trade only if they could meet Arlen and Pelham. I'd be glad to help. Tell me where they're making the trade and I'll see that everything goes well. Thank you. The twins are very young, and they can be argumentative, but they have good hearts. They will be meeting the Hazupal caravan just north of Marban Market to make the trade. Hello. Are you Arlen and Pelham? That's us. Slayers of worms, jungle plants, and undead of all kinds at your service. How can we help you? Actually, I'm here to help you. The Firstborn asked me to go with you to meet the Hylek. What? They don't trust us to do the job? Ah, well, the more the merrier. You're welcome to come. You're just in time. The Hazupa tribe should be here any minute. We're supposed to meet them, play nice, and trade these supplies for the Zalisco extract. Oh, this should be fun. I look fascinating. Don't worry about the formalities. I'll do the talking. I enjoy meeting new friends. Pelham's great at that. Me? I'm more the thumpy fist face sort of guy. It's amazing that we're twins. We're really nothing alike. I think I hear the Hylic coming through the forest. Everyone get ready to say hello! One time, I killed three undead creepers with a single swing. That's because I was distracting the other five by juggling stones. Oh, yeah? Well, I... Oh, look! The Heilecker here! My name is Speaker Mahuti. Here, let me look on you both. Amazing. We did not know that your race could have twins. We can, Speaker. My brother and I awaken from the same pod. Our dream was shared. The sun shines brightly upon you indeed. I have brought the Zalisco extract for your firstborn. Be careful. Until the sap is mixed in the potions, it is extremely deadly. My brother and I will guard it well. It will stay in our care until we place it in Traherne's own hands. Vile, sunless wretch, Mahuti of the Hasupul. You dare trade Hylic secrets with outsiders? The Dengatl tribe will not allow this. To protect the extract, we will take it from you by force. May the sun god blister your skin, Dengatl thief. We will defend ourselves. How dare those Dengatl threaten our allies? 
Ready your weapons and charge. We can drive them off. No, don't attack. Faint. We can lead the other tribe astray and escape in the confusion. Here, follow me. Wait, both of you. We have to guard the Hazupal. Don't run off. Hey! You bloat-throated spy! I'll stab you good! Wait, Silvari, do not leave us! Then God will outnumber us! Thorns! It's a trap! Round the Hasupal goods! Attack! Rise like the sun. The Dengadu must not steal the extract. Valiant, aid us! There are too many of them! The Dengatl took the Zelisco extract while we were fighting! This is your fault, Pelham. My fault? If you'd have stayed behind while I led them away, the extract would have been safe. While you led them away? That was a dumb plan. I was running to attack them. You should have stayed behind. The sun has turned its face from us. I never should have come here. I never should have agreed to give you the Zalisco extract. I'm deeply sorry, Speaker Mahuti. We'll retrieve the extract before anything else goes wrong. You sound like you believe that. Oh, I wish I did. The Dengadl will use that sap to create powerful poisons. I must return and tell my chief what has happened. I've seen Hylic caravans at the Honto trading post. Someone there might know where to find the Dengadl village. Good idea. Valiant, why don't you meet us there?
pass this along to the pale tree. Hail Valiant! Welcome to Hanto Trading Post. Saw Goldbeak is the trade master here. If anyone knows where to find the Dengartel, it will be him. Goldbeak won't tell us, though. He's greedy, and he keeps his secrets very well. We'll have to find some way to make him talk. I bet you both have ideas on how to do that, right? I favor the simple direct route. We ask direct questions, and if nobody talks, we cause a commotion. They'll give us answers, just to make us go away. Our search will be more fruitful if we use nectar instead of thorns. These are merchants. Why don't we try making a few deals? Before you two start making wild plans, let's talk to Saw Goldbeak. It can't hurt to ask. These joints are solid rust, you cranky old gout gear junk pile. Fine spirits for sale. Queen's weapons and wounds. How may I be of service? Tell us what you know about the Dengadal Heilic, Goldbeak, or else! <laughs> you don't scare me, you barkless sprouts. I've got nothing to say to you. Get out of my way, and get out of my trading post. I've got legitimate business going on. It is my honor to meet you. The Tengu's a stone wall. Come on, let's cause some trouble. That'll make the merchants talk. Why do you have to be so dramatic? There are easier ways to get them to cooperate. You do it your way, I'll do it mine. We'll see who finds out more. Pine juice. Get your pine juice here. Good for drinking. Or for melting stains of your blade. Uh, excuse me. How interesting. Have you seen any Dingotl Hylic in the trading post today? Uh, I'm afraid I can't help you, little plantling. Please, uh, go somewhere else. You sound frightened. Is everything all right? Fine, I'm fine. Just move along. Mind you for sale! When I find out which of my rivals cast this rusty spell on you, I swear I'll have this diploma revoked. Fine spirits, sharp and strong. If the bite doesn't kill you, the bark will. Mill today means no trouble tomorrow. Fine spirits for sale, cleans weapons and wounds. All right, let's see that solvent of yours. I have to give it a try before we make a deal. Okay, don't use much. Just a little at a time will clear away the rust. Pine juice is very powerful. Yeah, yeah, a little dab here and a little dab there and a big fat dab, right? 
Target profile established. Pilot mail. Preparing murder This solvent is astro amazing. I'll take your entire stock, Hylic. I'll pay you whatever you want. Uh, twice that, if you don't sell it to anyone else. Oh, and, uh, <clears throat> sorry about the whole golem trying to kill you thing. I may have neglected to mention that it was in attack mode when it got stuck. By gum phosphorus, the solvent not only loosened the joints, it upped the golem's combat response rate. Brilliant. Silvari, I am indebted to you. This arrangement will feed my family for many sunrises. How can I repay you? We need to know where to find the Dengatl tribe. They've stolen something from us and we must get it back. The Dengatl tribe are very dangerous. You don't want to fight with them. I'm afraid we must. But I promise we won't mention you told us anything. You'll be safe. Very well. The Dengatl never come into the trading post. Goldbeak meets them outside the camp. He buys stolen goods from them to sell at a profit. That's exactly the kind of thing we needed to know. Thank you, Merchant. You know the Dengata tribe, right? They stole our Zalisco extract, and we want it back. You're the ones that got robbed, huh? I heard about that. Too bad for you. Where are the Dengar? All you have to do is tell me what I want to know, and I'll go away. Get out of here, Twig. Before someone mistakes you for kindling and throws you on the fire. Kindling? I'll show you kindling! Valiant, help me burn something. I know! Grab a stick from the campfire and ignite the barrels! I'll do it myself. You, twig face. Get away from there. Those supplies are combustible. These Silvari are troublemakers. Get them, boys. What do you need? My goods! Please, by the sun, stop! Look, I deal in stolen goods. My clients will kill me if they find out I talked about a robbery. You're not being very helpful. Maybe if we set the other pile of stuff on fire, too? That's enough, Arlen. I'll handle this. Listen to me, merchant. The Zalisco sap is dangerous. If we don't find it, someone's going to get hurt. That's the spirit, Valiant! No. I mean innocents will get hurt when the Dengotl use the Zalisco extract. We've got to stop them before that happens. Fine. I'll tell you. Sure. I heard about the robbery, but I didn't know the Dengotl stole anything poisonous. The Dengotl aren't planners, and they're not very smart. If they stole something dangerous, then someone told them to do it. Probably some other tribe. I don't know who or why. Now please! Stop burning my wares! I've got 26 kids to feed! Thank you, Merchant. You did the right thing. Come on, Arlen. Let's go find Pelham. All right, Goldbeak. We know about your secret trades with the Dengatl, and we know they're working with another tribe. 
I'm betting you saw the Dengutl and this other tribe making a trade at that same location. Our Zalisco extract. So? The Hylek tribes can do whatever they want. I'm not their boss. No. You're their patsy. The Dengutl don't like other races. They've got a powerful toxin, and when they use it, it won't be on Hylek. What are you trying to say? That I'm in danger? We're all in danger. Look, we just want to retrieve the Zalisco extract. Tell us, and we won't turn you in for selling stolen goods. All right. You drive a hard bargain, Silvari. Yes, the Dengatl sell me stolen goods. But when they wouldn't make a deal for one of the boxes, I hid and watched. I wanted to know who was undercutting me. All I saw was a bunch of frogs talking about the Eye of the Sun. I don't even know if they made the trade. I'll tell you where the Dengatl village is, but that's it. I'm not involved, you hear me? Arlen, did you set fire to that poor merchant's goods? He was a crook. Anyway, it got him to talk, and nobody got him. Did you con that Asura into using pine juice as a solvent? I did, and it worked like a charm. Except for the bruising you took from the golem. <laughs> You've the brains of a wilted fern, Arlen. Valiant, head back to the grove. We need to tell Traherne what we've discovered. <laughs>